I've known this for years, but I've never been inside his place before. Hey, everyone, this is... Um this is just to show how wide the uh, filter is on the uh, Elite 750. And uh, sorry for those that think the radio has a flaw and that I should return it because it's not, and yours is okay. They're all like this. I've re read enough reviews to notice that every reviewer that had one in their hands just went crazy over how wide the filter is and it's way too wide. Also, the amount of comments of people saying that's why I always keep it narrow kind of points to the direction that that is a really major flaw of this receiver, which should not be for the price that it's sold for. So this is WWCR 15825, real strong. I even have the RF gain not even full because it's very, very strong here. One of the first observations is that it's on 825, but actually sounds better off frequency this is also a comment that i see in other reviewers uh dave zantow that reviewed it noted that it was about three kilohertz off on the wide filter what is weird is on the narrow filter it's on frequency it's really just when the wide filter is there really really weird what's happening with that filter they really chose the wrong filter and something's just not right with this radio and uh, they are all like that. So, um, if you haven't noticed, you know, there are several reasons why you might not notice that this is happening, but one test that you could do is just leave the wide filter, choose a strong signal, and look at how wide it is. I'm gonna give you an example here. 15825 is a frequency. Let's go down. So I can hear it on the bottom part at 818-ish. But look at the top part, 25, 837, 837, that's 12 kilohertz above. And if you count that, you hear it up to 819, 1819, if not 17. This is a 20 kilohertz wide filter. Now look at the same thing, but through the widest filter on the Texan receiver here. Okay, same signal, same antenna. No RF gain here that I've lowered. This is full signal. Eight to five. Yeah. First of all, it sounds much better because the filter, even though wide, is less wide. You notice there's less interference too. Now tune. So 19 to 31. Here we have roughly from one side to the other about um, so 19 to 31 about 12 kilohertz which is much smaller and this is the widest setting on the widest setting so it gives you an idea that the Texans wide filter on the H501X is much better so it is a major flaw and it adds to the fact that I will say it again don't buy this it's not worth its price at all this is not, it might have a cool looking design from the old, the past. It might look, you know, nice. The knobs are nice. It's pretty sturdy. It's such a uh, bad radio on that respect, uh, which is sad. Because on the single sideband, because of the, you know, when you put the, the filter, if I put the bandwidth filter to narrow, now on the narrow side, its slope is pretty good. That looks more like what my Texan is. So it is a major flaw. I'm sorry, but uh, they're all like this. And if you haven't noticed, uh, maybe you're not listening to signals in a way that I do, or like I do. Uh, there's a lot of, if you have a lot of signals that are close together, you'll see that this can cope. You're always in a narrow filter. So uh, it's sad, but that's the way it is.
If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.